All set for the start of the inning and set to go as the third baseman Brian Anderson grounder down the line at third. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate 0 and 2. And no swing apparently ball one. The one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. One out, nobody on. Back up the middle. And there's out number two. And that'll bring in Garrett Cooper. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. First offering. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And here's a foul ball just off to the right as they get ahead of him here. Nothing in two. Heading out towards shallow right. And the Marlins had their first hit of the game. Boy, just when you're looking for one of those shutdown innings, you get two quick outs, D roll, then you give up a two out base hit to extend the inning. Yeah, you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an AB, no chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at bat, every plate appearance. Nice job, maybe a little two out lightning start. Reined in, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Marlins leave one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Bryson Stott. First pitch on its way. Fly ball right down the line and left. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. At the plate now is Rowdy Tellez, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Now batting, catcher, JT. Real now to bat, JT Real Muto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to center field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Didn't waste any time, like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning going. You can relate, Dan. So what's going now, through the pitcher's mind no right pitcher. now? Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. At the plate now, Zach Plezak. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. When you dive into the numbers in this start, it's hard to believe that this guy's pitching as poorly as he has. Over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes, but a lot of those have been right down the middle, right into the hitting zone. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Here's the 0 and 2. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Hey, 
And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. All right, thanks, Heidi. Ready now for the Marlins. Ferrar and Carnacion will start off the fifth in this one. First pitch on its way. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Drives it the other way to deep right. Back goes Harper on the warning track. He makes the catch. Next to hit is Ramon Urias. Flew out last time up. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Back up. The, oh, no, that got him. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. And lucky for them, the right fielder's there to back up the throw. Well, a part of me wants to applaud him for staying with it and making the throw, but after he bobbled, he should have just eaten the ball and lived to fight another day. As it is, he gets tagged with an error, and a man is on base. Miguel Andujar will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And there are two away now. now so the batting order the turns over team. now and set to go. Runner. Connor Scott, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First offering on its way. The 1 0 home. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Dias is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. One left for Miami. They trail here 4 to nothing. Isaiah Campbell, the 6 foot 4 inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and set to go is the second baseman, Willie Castro. The second baseman. First pitch of the AB on its way. Castro. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0 and 1. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. The wind up and the 0 1. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. He's right there, and that's the first out. Here's a look at the final line for the Marlins starting pitcher. Not what he had in mind before the day started. Well, this one's really easy to dissect. Too many pitches left over the heart of the plate. Three bombs allowed in this one. He's going to have to do a better job of throwing quality pitches down the road. First pitch on the way. 
Joaquin Dias stands in as he looks at ball one here. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Now the 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. The 3-2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's now just back. what they did right there. The Big strikeout, pass. keep that Bobby guy there. off the base path. Bye, yeah. Stepping in now, Javier Baez. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Oh, look at the dive. It's in time. They call it the hot corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us to break. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. So now to the plate, Corey Dickerson. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he lifts it in the air to right field, Harper has a read on it, makes the play one away. So now here is Brian Anderson. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First delivery to him. Nope, at the ball. One out, nobody on. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. We've seen this before, fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. The 2-0 on the way. Inside, ball three. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. The next 3-2. Two. Too high, and that cost him ball four. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Didi Gregorius, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Anderson leads off first with one away. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is sent high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone. A home run. So it's a two run shot to right center. 19th home run for him on the season. And the Marlins get a bit closer. It's now a 4 2 ball game. 
Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. Into the box now, Garrett Cooper. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Now the 1 0. And it's fouled away. Still only one out in the inning. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseball. That gives him a multi hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Now, time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. To the plate now, Jorge Alfaro. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Harper is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now into the box, Ferrar Encarnacion. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You got a 1 0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. Two out with the man at first. Line to the right side. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Yeah, and I think he might have lulled himself into a false sense of security out there. Prior to this inning, he was pitching a shutout, but now he's starting to look a little off. In now, Ramon Urias. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. One oh count here it is. What a great opportunity to come through right here. Two oh count runners on base find something middle of the plate and let it rip. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner two and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. The pitcher. That's what we that's refer the, uh, to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Jairo Munoz will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Looking to minimize the damage here as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. Haters gonna be part time loving. They just been a long time running. It don't matter. They ain't catching up at all. I promise. It's been a long time coming. Haters gonna be part time loving. Putting up some all time numbers. Hang the John Curtis enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Bryce Harper. The right fielder, Bryce Harper. First delivery to him. 
You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the brake. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Here comes the 0 2 pitch and he takes strike three called on the fastball one gone. Well he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter and instead of working around the zone he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. John Carmo Stanton will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. As we flash you back to take another look at a solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. From the stretch. The 1 0. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. On to first, and there were two down. Couldn't have been much closer at first, and as show track will demonstrate for us, it took a throw of over 90 miles an hour just to beat the hustling runner. Really an amazing show of arm strength on that play. Into the box, Bryson Stott, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Both teams with six hits so far. Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning.